right, welcome to my day 40 progression guide. So for today, we did get a level increase, so we basically need to get 3 million in three days. But starting out, you wanna go to the build, you wanna go to go, you wanna go to your artificial island. Then you wanna go back to build, and then you wanna hit claim, so that way you make sure you get your resources, since your houses can only hold them for 24 hours. But if you notice, it looks like artificial island has a little surprise. The animals have respawned, as well as the elites and the monsters. But as you see, it does look like the bosses have not respawned, and those are the main things that you're going to need to upgrade your buildings. So what I'm thinking is that the mobs inside the world respawn maybe every three days and maybe the bosses respawn weekly so we'll find out tomorrow but what i recommend is that you go around kill all the mobs kill all the animals get all those resources and just try to knock that out sometime today i'll leave a link in the description for the farming route to get all the mobs and for the animals you just need to check all the places in the map once that's done you can do me as kitchen you can do your bounties then you can do your ruins for today, we got access to D01 Hard, which also gives us Omnium Shield Relic, so that's really good. And if you have any story left over, go ahead and complete it. For Vitality. Now, generally I start out with Joint Operations, but since today we are level 65, that is a big power spike for your character. By being able to level up your weapons and your matrices, you want to make sure you have enough materials to level up every weapon. As you see, I need quite a bit more material so that way I can level up Claudia's weapon, and I have a few others that I'm also trying to upgrade. So when it comes to your vitality, you're going to want to prioritize making sure you have enough materials to fully level up your weapons. Hence why, again, I'm going to be camping the recruit screen. But if you're more prepared than I am for joint operations, we have access to bracers, chest, and a Samir matrix, shoulders, helm, in a Shiro Matrix, and then we got access to boots. All of these dungeons aren't bad. Again, I think the boots are probably the best one to go for because you want to try to get crit, but you could just use your gold dust to try to get a good pair of boots. Then Interstellar Exploration. Now this one is big priority, especially today. You want to check your Stargates and see if you have two or more in this category. And again, if they're booster frames or nano fibers, maybe even acid proof or nano coatings, you might want to run those depending on the materials needed to level up all of your weapons. But if you don't got any good Stargates, you can always do Dimensional Trials, just make sure it's Difficulty 5. Or you can do Space Time Domains, but just make sure it's Difficulty 5. But if you're still struggling for XP, feel free to go ahead and force a Cypher any Password Chest, and open up any Rusted Iron Chest. You can also do the Frontier Clash AFK Farm, or do the Ring Caller Island Chest Run. And if you want more information on that, check out my Experience Farm video. Then don't forget to do your Daily Gifts. You want to go to the Black Market and talk to Hopkins. You want to go to Cetus Island and do the Claw Machine. Then you want to do your two Ability Trainings. Quick tip, if you get the rhythm training, Samir is MVP. Next, you wanna maintain your vehicle. So some of the best places is Astra Shelter. The next place would be Bangi Shelter. After that, we got the Black Market. And the best place, High Crows. Also attack any elemental rocks you see for crystals. Then again, we have the summer event, Ida Cafe. You wanna make sure you're getting maximum points. So again, down in the description, I have a link to a Reddit post that'll tell you every customer's favorite dish. And also the farming routes to get the ingredients to make sure you can create all those dishes. Next, we have the weekly tab. Now this is where you wanna really pay attention, especially next week. Normally you wanna complete all this stuff and you wanna collect all these materials up top. But next week, the battle pass resets and it looks like it resets on Tuesday, probably in the middle of the afternoon. So you do not want to collect any of these rewards next week. So my best advice for next week, the weekly tab does not exist until Tuesday next week. Then we got challenges. So today is the last day before reset. So again, you're most likely going to be running a lot of stuff, bygone phantasm, maybe trying to complete the wormhole. So with Mia's kitchen, you might want to save those. So that way you can get a little extra power for these challenges. But just remember, you wanna make sure you use your three attempts before the day is over. So starting out with the Bygone Phantasm. As you see, my rank has dropped down to 11. I started out the week being rank one. So again, I still haven't done any of this new Phantasm, so I have a lot of work to do today. Void Rips, you wanna check to see if this is a first time boss for you. If so, make sure you do it. If not, feel free to do it and just get that experience and that free matrix rope. Wormhole, today is the last day to complete the endless 
Darkness mode. So make sure you do that so that way you can get that energy crystal dust. Raid. If you haven't been able to find an eight man party, make sure you do this today because the raid will reset tomorrow. Frontier Clash. Now, if you have any attempts, you might want to go ahead and knock this out today because most people have a Volt team. And if tomorrow it ends up being Volt immunity, that's going to really hurt your runs. Apex League. If you're trying to get to Grand Marshal, just make sure you put a couple hours in each day. Next, we have our daily buy. So you want to go to shop, hot, and buy your two vitality solutions. Now, this is only if you can afford it. Then we got the commissary, starting with the crystal dust store. So you want to make sure you buy your advancement modules and your booster modules today because this resets tomorrow. When it comes to the goading gear, I recommend that you buy the boots because the best joint op to run is the one with the gloves because it gives good matrices and gloves. But if you got a good pair of boots and a good pair of gloves, feel free to buy what you want. And for the purple dust, save it for Vera. Weapon store. Today is the last day to buy your two copies for the week. But if you want to save it for future characters, that's not a bad move either. Crew store. Again, the only thing you want to be buying are relic shards. And I recommend that you just save your points so that way you can buy the Omnium Shield when it comes into the store. How you get crew points is you do your daily donations and you make sure you knocked out at least four missions. But again, I recommend that you don't do password chests because you want to save all those for Vera. Support store. Make sure you buy your three joint supply chips. And again, the best way to get support points is to do Frontier Clash Normal to where you get 375 support points, machine parts, and experience. Or you can do Matrix Drills, Difficulty 1 with a team of two, and Void Rifts to where you can get 150 support points. Or you can farm World Bosses, Force Decipher, get 100 support points, as well as machine parts. And for the last thing I would do, I would just go around Artificial Island trying to unlock everything. Last night I was able to get the main Artificial Island 100% done and I just got a little bit left of the Outer Islands. One thing that I also wanted to leave you with is that my friend Fall went ahead and marked the locations to where you can get the aberrants for the Outer Islands. So essentially you just go to the portals, try to spawn those, and they randomly generate an aberrant. So if you guys were struggling, hopefully this map helps you. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description as well. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, check out my day 39 video. I would also greatly appreciate a like and a comment. But other than that, talk with you guys later.